Kai Hurst is desperately wanting the swell to kick up in tomorrow's round of the neutral grain Ironman series at Surfers Paradise. Sitting fifth overall, he sees the unpredictability of the waves as his best chance to reel in the leaders. It was a case of reaching for the sky for a few of the Ironman competitors high atop Q1 overlooking tomorrow's race layout. And most of them would have been far more at home in the water. <laughs> Kai Hurst played it cool, but tomorrow he wants it rough in the surf, as the first three rounds of the series haven't quite gone his way. You know, this weekend, all I want is waves. You know, I know it's an hour race. You know, if there are waves in the mix of things, it really throws things up. Things certainly seem to be going Ali Day's way, as he had the job of teaching pro surfer and one of the most Googled women in the world, Alana Blanchard, the finer points of the Ironman board. You know, sorry guys that I got to take this one, but... Yeah, no, I won't forget, I promise you that. And um, yeah, the hype is real. She's not just a pretty face, she's, you know, a really down to earth girl. Just down the coast, Sally Fitzgibbons advanced to the quarterfinals of the Breaker Burley Pro with the highest combined score so far in the event. And in a dramatic finish in the round of 32, Mick Fanning moved from third to first with the final ride of the heat, posting an 8.6.